just saying God has done some wonderful things in my life A lot of people always ask me, yo, show me how you come to the Lord Or how the Lord snatch you up, better yet <laughs> How he chose me, cause I sure wasn't looking for him Let me go ahead and explain to you how our marvelous meeting occurred Check it out My name is Trey, I'm 20 years old I always knew I had a strong mother figure in my life. My mom was very supportive of everything I did and a strong relationship with her, but um, father-wise, it didn't work out so well. I was constantly moving because I had a stepfather that was in the military and we always had to jump around state to state. And I never felt like I had that strong father-son relationship that I always wanted. And I kind of felt pushed aside. In high school, left Tennessee, moved all the way down here to Hawaii. I've uh, been here for two and a half years now. It's going to be like a little dream, you know, come back a long time and have that perfect little happy ending. But me and him never really see eye to eye on a lot of things. It would always be me trying to make him see me in a different light. And like um, one night I'm coming home and you know, he said 10 o'clock and I was like, yes, sir, I'll be here. And I make it to the house at 940. So I'm knocking on the door and everything and looking up at the window and like yelling his name, dad, dad. Let me in. I'm home already. I'm stuck on my porch, and my neighbor's passing by me, and I feel kind of bummish. Everybody's just walking past, and I'm just sitting there all the way until 3 o'clock in the morning. At that time, he finally opens the door. He sees me, and he looks so frustrated, like, why would you do this to me? And I'm sitting there with a puzzled face, like, I thought you, you know, were going to open the door, and, you know, and... As time went on, it just kept going like that, kept going like that. I never got a key to my house, you know. And it was kind of hard trying to do what he wanted when my stepmom wanted me to do something else. I had a giant into a whole family that I never even knew. You know, she always wanted me to go out and stay away from the house and have something to do all the time. He wanted me at the house and wanted me to stay home and be a good son. So I had like a <laughs> conflict between them and myself. So what I would do is, you know, always use sports and dancing to stay away from the house and you know with everything I, I wanted to find a way for it to work. One night I'm coming back home a little frustrated got done playing basketball with my friends and I'm walking down the street sweating and my old co-worker Nadine, Nadine she comes out of nowhere has a flyer in her hand all excited I'm like, I know you I said hey how you been and she tells me you gotta come check this out and it was a flight for Victory Outreach. I've never been here, so I thought, you know, went about, contemplated over it for a little while, and I was like, okay, I'll come check this out. So I came. Um, my first time I went, it was me and my girlfriend. We came to see a play, and it was deep. It was touching. It was motivating. It actually made a lot of sense, and in, in a way, I felt like my life was part of that as well. It was something different. I, I feel like here, I have spiritual parents. I have a family that I can go to when I ever have a problem. And it's so touching to know that no matter what happens, I'm going to have great guidance all the time. And everything I do now, I give it all to the Lord. My stress, my problems, when I'm feeling good, when I'm feeling sad, I give it all to Him. And I know He takes care of me. I know He loves me and I love Him. I, I feel no matter what happened, somehow I would have this rekindling with my Father. I know one day it's going to come back, it's going to be strong, and me and Him are going to be able to bond. You know, it's going to be a complete family. After that, we now uh, run the GAC Runs Me Dance Ministry. Sometimes we help out in some of the plays. And I felt like I'm a, you know, young mentor to some of the young men out here. My name is Trey. I'm 20 years old. I'm a gang warrior. This is my testimony. This is my